Senator Marsha Blackburn visited Eagle Pass, Texas just a few days ago, and she joins us now. Uh, Senator, happy Easter. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, there's nothing like uh, being on the ground, Easter. talking to the Border Patrol, seeing what's going on there. Uh, what, what, what did you leave with? What was your impression and, and what did you see? Yes, Jason, and happy Easter to you also. And when I was in Texas, I was with the Texas DPS, also Brandon Judd, head of the, the union, Border Patrol Union, met me down there. And in Eagle Pass a year ago when I was there, they were processing people, having people come by the thousands every day. And now, because they put buoys in the river, containers at the water's edge, fencing and razor wire, they're down to about a dozen people a day. And they're very supportive of my Container Act, which gives state and local governments the authority to defend themselves when the federal government does not, and to put up these temporary barriers. And I think it's so instructive. I'm glad Speaker Johnson met with Governor Abbott this week because Texas is spending billions of dollars. The counties on the border down there are spending millions of dollars, and local ranchers and farmers that I met with are spending tens of thousands of dollars to protect their private property from being overrun by people illegally entering the country. Yeah, it, it, the people have literally come by the millions. Now, President Obrador of Mexico has said, hey, United States, give us $20 billion a year and we'll help curb the, uh, the flow. That, I, I, are you as offended by that as I am that, oh, for $20 billion will help yeah. do the job that the United States should be doing? I, I don't understand it. Yes, and when you look at Obrador and his aggressiveness in his comments to President Biden, we know for a fact he would never have conducted himself that way with President Donald Trump. And we know that basically he is threatening the U.S. and saying, hey, send us the money or the migrants are going to keep coming. Now, what we do know is that Joe Biden is out here trying to sue the state of Texas for putting up barriers, and Donald Trump would be sending reinforcements. And as you said in your opening, you've got National Guards from six different states that are in Texas right now helping Texas to defend themselves from these illegal aliens who are crossing into the state and thereby moving into the country. And Jason, I want to tell you something. This is the number one issue with the American people. Doesn't matter where I go. And every Tennessean I talk to, the border being open is issue number one. People see it. They see it in the drugs coming to their communities, into the human trafficking, the sex trafficking, the labor gangs. Every town's a border state, a border town, every state a border state because of Joe Biden's open border policy. And when Obrador makes statements like this of, hey, give us the money or the migrants are going to come, Joe Biden should stand up and defend this country and close that border. He refuses to do it. Now, the House impeached Secretary Mayorkas. Uh, Speaker Johnson yes. said next week they plan to send those articles of impeachment to the Senate. What happens then, Senator? Yes, and on Wednesday, we expect them to come to us. We will receive the articles. We will be sworn in. Each senator is sworn in into the court of impeachment. Now, Here's where it gets tricky. We should move forward at that point with the impeachment trial or a committee of impeachment. But what we're hearing is for the first time ever in our nation's history, Chuck Schumer is wanting to table the impeachment articles. Every American should be incensed by this. Issue number one, we have nearly 10 million illegal aliens that have come into this country on Joe Biden's watch. 
Alejandro Mayorkas has lied to Congress. He has repeatedly said that the border is closed. It is not. He is doing Joe Biden's bidding on this. Every single state is affected by this. He should stand for his impeachment trial as instructed by the Constitution of the United States. There was word that President Biden was going to issue executive orders. Now, he issued nearly 100 to take down the policies of President Trump. He could, with the stroke of his pen, reverse those or do things to help secure the border. But, Senator, uh, it's gone silent, as Politico was reporting. Yes, indeed. He did 94 executive orders in the first 100 days. And you're exactly right. Stroke of the pen, he could reverse every single one of those. He could go back to remain in Mexico. He could go back to dealing with some of these foreign entities. He could be working with Obrador instead of Obrador, being so emboldened he's threatening Biden. So we don't know what he is going to do. But as I said, we do know this is issue number one for the American people, and they want to see some action. So, Jason, it is going to be a very interesting week for people to watch what happens, not only in the House, but in the Senate. And, you know, the Senate should move and take up H.R. 2, the House Border Security Bill, which, by the way, has been sitting in the U.S. Senate since May yeah. of 23, waiting for action. Uh, Senator, I do need to get your comment today being Easter. President Biden has uh, designated this uh, the Transgender Day of Visibility. What's your take on that? You know, Jason, I, I think everyone should be insulted by this, the intentional nature of this. Easter is a religious holiday. It is such a sacred day where we all meet at the cross. And for this White House to declare it, to issue a proclamation for Transgender Visibility Day, and then at the same time to deny the use of religious symbols in the White House Easter egg hunt art competition. Think about that one. They are insulting every Christian who holds this day as a sacred day.